Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's coming towards you in love and who you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So let's jump right in. Spirit Angels Guides for Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect in love spirit? Can Aquarius expect in love? Flexible, number 19. So flexible has kind of two meanings. I feel like it's obviously being open-minded and flexible, but also I think of the hangman, seeing things differently, like being open to seeing a different side to a situation. Um, let's see what else we get. What else do you have for Aquarius spirit? For Aquarius. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. Ah, messages, guidance, please. For Aquarius. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. And judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic, a judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Okay, so justice and judgment. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality. So I think that this is a situation that you've been dreaming about, wanting, desiring you or the person that you might be dealing with. But I feel like it's, it's going to possibly require you to be open minded. Or it could be that you have been looking at a situation differently and now you're making some sort of judgment call about it. I see that as well. Um, let's see what we have with the tarot. Spirit, what can Aquarius expect in love? What can they expect in love? What can Aquarius expect in love? Four of Wands, Five of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, some sort of communication with the Page of Swords. But there's also the Five of Swords, which is a card about conflict. Um, it's a card about not playing fair, not, you know, taking advantage. So we'll have to see what that's about. Bottom of the, bottom of the deck, if I could get the words out, is the Empress. Beautiful energy, the Empress. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. The Four of Wands is really a card about like a happy home, uh, something to celebrate, uh, a rite of passage, right? Um, sometimes it could be like a wedding or something where um, there's harmony, stability in a home. So let's see what this is all about. I could shuffle. Spirit, could I get some clarity, please? For Aquarius. What can you tell me about this Four of Wands? Why is the Four of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles is kind of like patiently waiting for something, having anxiety over the outcome of something. Justice, Libra energy. I'm thinking marriage here, but I'm not sure. Commitment, because justice could also be like legal contracts and things like that. But it could also be that someone's wondering if something will be made right, if something will be balanced out. Wow, Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is um, someone's desire, this Ace of Cups. New love, abundance in love, emotional fulfillment. I feel like someone here, and I think it's you, Aquarius, but it could also be your person is hoping for stability and a new beginning in love. Maybe some time has passed and this hasn't happened yet, or someone has been very patient, but it still hasn't, you know, manifested. So why the Five of Swords? Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Five of the Swords here? Nine of Cups. 
this is a wish fulfilled emotional fulfillment once again with the nine of cups it's like being very satisfied strength leo energy using a different approach inner strength death scorpio energy well this is very interesting you know, I'm seeing two messages here. It could be that some, there was conflict between you and another person in the past. Maybe it led to an ending with death, which is Scorpio energy. And maybe someone's still wishing for something to happen here. Um, maybe they need to have courage to come forward and do, you know, and speak up with the Page of Swords. I'm also getting that some of you, maybe there was an ending um, that happened due to deception. Like maybe somebody deceived you or mistreated you. But I feel like you've been very strong and kind of facing this head on and you're being rewarded with a nine of cups here. What is this nine of cups about? Spirit, why is the nine of cups here? The chariot, cancer energy, moving forward, success, being on a different path, moving towards success. I still see both sides here. There's the four of wands again. I still see like both energies here. Um, I feel like, you know, this could be a person that you already know that maybe wants to move past all of this that has happened. But I'm also seeing another side of Aquarius, like a group of Aquarius, where moving on with your life brings you to that next level. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What is this about with the Page of Swords? What do we need to know about this Page of Swords, Spirit? Six of Pentacles, rebalancing, giving and receiving. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What do we need to know about the Page of Swords? The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and then the Page of Swords again. Um, I think someone's recognizing your worth here. Queen of Pentacles, I instantly thought of the Empress. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. I instantly thought of the Empress with that Queen of Pentacles. Almost like someone, I don't know, maybe this is someone that wants to commit to you with the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Um, because I think of marriage commitments and justice as well. Um, I feel like someone wants to talk to fix things or to bring back balance to a situation. Spirit, can you give me one more for this page of swords? You can have one more energy, please, for the page of swords. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this page of swords? There's judgment. I feel like someone's coming back for a second chance or wants to talk about something that they've realized here. Someone could could be realizing your worth, um, realizing, you know, what what this connection really means to them. Maybe they're seeing things from a different angle after some time has passed. What else do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this other person? Spirit, what else do we need to know? For Aquarius, what else do we need to know about this connection? Message. Oh yeah, you're definitely um, hearing from this person. We have the Page of Swords twice. We have the Message card. Um, let me put this back here. Let me get a Romance Angel as well. What else do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this other individual spirit. What else do we need to know? Aquarius, if you're curious about learning how to interpret the tarot for love, um, I'm just gonna give a shout out to my book, Love Tarot Made Easy is right here in this corner. It's available on Amazon with uh, prime shipping. And I go over all 78 cards of the tarot and how you can interpret them for love. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like some of you, yeah, there's keep an open mind at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like you might not be trusting what someone's telling you. Maybe you've been hurt before and that's affecting how you um, 
receive this person's message, um, which makes sense to me, to be honest. It's like you're not sure who you can trust or if you can trust. Um, I feel like they might be asking you to keep an open mind, not spirit, but this other person like, hey, give me a chance or I've changed. Um, things are different now. Just because I was like that in the past, just because things didn't work out in the past doesn't mean that they don't have to work out in the future. I feel like this is what's going to be coming through with this message. What do we need to know about this individual spirit? What do we need to know about this individual that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with? Spirit, what do we need to know about this other person? Ah. What do we need to know about this other person? The Ace of Wands, the Fool, I mean, very clear energy there, and the Ace of Swords, my goodness, another card about a, uh, a message, clarity, they want, a, they want a new beginning. I mean, this is such clear energy, I don't even think I need to really clarify it. There's the Five of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Something happened in the past with this person, Aquarius, that I feel you are still thinking about or this person is still thinking about. Um... Before I clarify, can we get some more insight, please, into this person's energy? What else do we need to know about this person? I feel like a lot of you are going to be very wary of this person's intentions. My heart belongs to you. I wish I could be with you at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, I feel like there was some sort of... um separation here what else do we need to know what else do we need to know for aquarius spirit regarding this person's energies what do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to aquarius what do we need to know spirit what do we need to know for this one Words can't express how much I care for you. I feel like this person's reassuring you that what they're saying is true. We are soulmates, bottom of the deck there. So they feel a strong connection. Uh, if you were to ask them, they already know how they feel. They already know what they want. It's very clear here. Yeah, dropped my card. There's that seven of pentacles again. I think so, uh, there's a, I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up like two very different energies for you, Aquarius. It's like some of you were waiting for this person to come back to you and try again. And others of you were probably hoping to move past this person altogether. Tell me in the comments which group you fall into. But I feel like there's a divided crowd of Aquarius is watching this. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. What do we need to know about this Ace of Wands for Aquarius? The High Priestess. What do we need to know about the Fool? Why is the Fool here? Why is the Fool here? The Wheel of Fortune, my goodness. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What do we need to know about this Ace of of swords what do we need to know ten of wands king of pentacles and the five of pentacles bottom of the deck the ten of pentacles um okay so you know i see a few things here number one here with the fool and the wheel of fortune this is like um a complete turnaround i feel like someone wants to uh, take this opportunity that's in front of them. It's like this person sees an opportunity here and they're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to risk it all. I feel like they want to talk about what has already taken place here. Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Something to do with financial difficulties or a loss of some sort, maybe financial burdens, obligations that maybe caused issues for you and this person. Some of you, this person may already be in a commitment because the King of Pentacles is here with the Ten of Pentacles. 
at the bottom of the deck so i do see that as a possibility maybe there was some other attachment here but others of you i feel like this person is just going to show up as a king of pentacles and kind of promise some sort of stability or propose that you know they're serious about committing to you here about having this new beginning this new start um i feel like there is something that you need to listen to your intuition about regarding this new beginning with the high priestess also i'm getting that some of you this might not be something that you knew was coming it's like i don't see you expecting this person to reach out like maybe with the high priestess because i always think of like secrets silence with the high priestess she doesn't really speak it's up to you to determine what message she has right with the high priestess um, your intuition guides you to figure out that message. So I feel like with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands, it's it's like maybe you need to listen to your intuition or this is not really like expected, um, this new start. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Can I get one more, please? Can I get one more, please, for this Ace of Wands for Aquarius? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow, a lot of fire here. Very passionate, very um, motivated, the Queen of Wands. Also, she's very attractive. And there's the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like this is how someone's feeling for you, Aquarius. Could be a water sign, fire sign, or earth sign. Um, but I feel like someone like is very attracted to you, very motivated to act towards you. Um... I feel like maybe they kept these feelings to themselves, this attraction, or they've just, you know, always wanted this. There you are, the star. Yeah, hoping, wishing. I feel like you are their dream, this king of cups. Yeah, ten of swords with the star, healing uh, a difficult ending, wishing, having faith that this will work out, um, and the page of wands. Yeah, this is someone definitely going to be making a move here taking initiative um especially with the fool and the wheel of fortune i feel like this is someone that like i said is going to take an, that opportunity and do something about it um they're going to want a new beginning with you and that's going to be completely up to you if you want to kind of you know accept it but i feel like they're going to be very honest with the ace of swords we have the page of swords that showed up twice whatever message they have here to tell you it's going to be talking about the past um, maybe they'll apologize for the past. 